All right, so we're checking out the only game where people can win fabulous prizes by not burning to death. It's The Sims 4. To the new social experiment, damn it. Everyone say hello to the Woodmaster family. They are here today for a little bit of a social experiment test involving setting people on fire. I've created something of a custom environment here with a bunch of mods and a bunch of specific personality traits. These 20 Sims are all pyromaniacs. They're all also too dumb to be afraid of fire. This lovely cabin over here is mostly made of wood and is very flammable. Although I've also modded the flammability of objects, so basically everything is flammable. The stones are flammable. I've also modded fires so that they act more like the infernos of hell. The chances to create fires are also increased. This entire scenario has been started so I can find out who is the first to burn to death and who is the last sim left alive. Whichever poor bastard makes it through the day, I don't know, they're gonna win a magazine ripped out page which has a Tesla on it. Obviously things are already pretty bad, but just to make sure they're as bad as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and outfit this place with a couple of other objects that can get people killed. I'm gonna make this freaking place look like a fireworks facility that went out of business. No sim will ever go hungry. Thanks to all of these grills. You sims like incense? I'll just bet you do. All right, we're ready to go. Go forth, scumbags, and do your thing. Now, this particular sim over here is very special. Don't trust any guy wearing a belly shirt. Uh, and as such, I've given him a bunch of extra evil traits. So he's more of a jackass than everyone else. Oh, and one of the sims is named Michelle Slaughter Lord. She's actually my favorite. There we go, everyone. Go ahead and file in. Don't mind the random rocks that are just laying all over the place. That's part of the decor. Got plenty of things in here for you guys to do for entertainment, including grilling and fireworks. Okay, everyone everyone, go the hell inside. Uh, I see Devin Hipsterosaurus has already started with the comedy show. Fantastic. Don't mind the wall that just teleported in behind you guys. Part of the, part of the challenge. All right, everyone looks to be doing pretty good. People are uh, reading books. Someone's playing the friggin' piano. This girl's looking to talk to some dude. Wow. The whole friggin' squad is down here in the bottom. There's plenty of grills. If anyone wants to start cooking up some hot dogs or something, feel free to go ahead. Hey, everyone's enjoying the TV without you. They're not letting you have a place to sit. Do you know what you should do? Set them on fire. Kaylee Hobath identified the goldfish, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots. Wow. I never thought the goldfish would have been so rare. Just to kind of make sure that everything is extra flammable though, I'm gonna go and put down a few billion rugs because I can. You can stack these nice and high. Kind of an interesting picture to have in the background. Considering, what the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was gonna say, Trisha was the one that was trying to cook, but I don't know who started this. I think it was her, maybe? Luckily, we already have a couple of Sims trying to fight the fire, so I don't think anyone's gonna die. Well, maybe she will. She's been on fire for a little while. Cassidy Gunter. Ah, she's all right. Two people hiding in the back of the stairs. You gonna finish those burgers, or...? There we go. Again, look at the- look at the television show they're watching. God, it's perfect! This entire house was made to burn Sims alive. This girl just set yet another- Look at her, she's like, I did it, it was great! I regret nothing! Well done, Trisha. Give in to your pyro desire. <laughs> I appreciate that she's taking the time to clean up all the urine that's been created ever since she started setting everything on fire. All right, we got a decent fire going on now. We just had someone set off one of these objects and it set off another object. So if it spreads far enough, we should have a third one going off here. We've got four different Sims on fire at this point. The sprinkler system's going off. We've had at least someone use their fire extinguisher, but people are still burning. Yep, there goes another one that just exploded off. <laughs> this fire extinguisher sucks ass. Is no one gonna help these people? Everyone was using the fire extinguisher before and everyone was just staring around watching. Nathaniel Weekstash watches on as his friends stand limply around a raging inferno. This redhead over here somehow 
gotten caught up on fire. It's just like a round robin of people catching on fire. I mean, luckily they're standing under the sprinkler system, so they're only on fire for a couple of seconds, but if they keep doing this, one of them's going to die. Oh God, we just had something else explode over here now. Oh, was it you? Did you start this friggin' fire on? This guy over here, Odin, is like, man, this fireplace throws out a lot of heat. <laughs> this lady must be wearing a very, very non-fire retardant dress because I think she's caught on fire three or four times now. This is the picture perfect instance of this is fine. This guy is just sitting here staring intently at the fireplace. His legs are on fire, but somehow he is not being injured. I don't know how this is happening. Like, these people are catching on fire from like eight feet away. This dude's totally fine. This lady's laying in the fire at this point. This guy's like, ah, oh, that's pretty impressive of her. Wish I could sleep while well on fire. This girl's on fire for the 30th time. Oh, it's Hobath. Got a stunning design flow over here. The house is cut off from this side. So no one can put these fires out besides these very, very unequipped fire extinguishers. Oh, someone screwed something up. There's a fire somewhere. I have no idea where the hell it is. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> someone must have set one of the, the fireworks on fire. Oh, it's a pretty good fire too. They got the couch and everything. A couple of the girls are burning alive, but uh, we do have a few very brave Sims shooting their loads everywhere, trying to put all this out. We have three girls now that are on fire. This girl over here is just waving at them like, what are you girls doing? Shouldn't you be stopped dropping and rolling? I think we just had our first death. Ooh. Yep. Is that Trisha? Trisha Woodmaster. No, Michelle Slaughter Lord. That was my female favorite. She's dead too. We're getting all kinds of losses right here. Is, is seriously no one going to help put this out? Okay, we do have a few people stepping up now, starting to put out the fire. We just had another firework go off. This girl is standing in the middle of like four different fires. Totally fine with her. Never mind, she's not fine at all. Kaylee Hobath just died. What did we just lose four people in a row? Grant just went down. He tried fighting all the fires by himself. He ended up dying. Okay, the fire has finally gone out, but there's one girl that's just burning while everyone watches her. No one cares. She's she's so tired of burning alive, she's yawning. I'm serious. Is is anyone going to do anything about this? This girl's just standing next to her like, man, I'm going to feel really bad when she finally dies. Yep. There she goes. <laughs> well done, everyone. Glad to see y'all working as a friggin' team. This girl's over here having a friggin' hamburger. Like six people just died. All right, you've all mourned long enough. Go do something else besides cry. This is really weird, but to keep a lot of these Sims from crying forever, I have to make them all serial killers. <laughs> I don't think this will have them killing each other, but I guess if it does, it's just one other way <laughs> to thin the herd. What the hell? Where'd we get a fire from? Kirk discovered the fire. Oh, he tried to cook something right in the middle of the house too. That's all right though. We've, we've, got, we've got this under control. Well, one sim may have this under control. Okay, it's not under control. One of the fireworks just went off and now at least two people are on fire. Hey lady, maybe instead of just like looking back and forth in your bathrobe, you could grab a friggin' fire extinguisher and do something about this. Okay, nope. She'll just, she'll just scream in circles and look eerily from side to side. <laughs> look at that face. You realize you're all going to die if you don't do anything about this, correct? Jeffrey Friendly Hair sleeping right in the middle of the fire. Oh, finally awake, are we? That's what you get for bringing a bathrobe to a pyro show. Oh, this fire spread a lot more than I thought it would. Goes another firework going off. Okay, the fire over here has spread into a really weird part of the house. I don't know where the hell it is right now. It's in like this little crawl space. The problem is nothing can really put it out. Okay, now it's starting to wrap around to the side of the house. What the hell just went off there? Something else freaking exploded. I got time moving at the speed of light over here. The issue is I don't care. The issue is we're gonna have everyone die because they can't eat because no one can do anything while the fire is going off. We're having a massive amount of death from starvation right now. I had never expected that this would be the way that I would end up killing all of my Sims, especially kids. What is she, what are you doing? It's like she can't even die correctly. Got two bodies laying together through a friggin' wall over here. Oh Jesus, I broke the death real bad today. Friendly hair just died. Oh my God, all of the, 
all the fireworks are starting to go off. I've got script errors going on forever here. I think friendly hair was the last to die though. The sprinkler system is on in the entire house right now. <laughs> so I actually let this burn for like two weeks. The fire will never go out. It's impossible. The fire's too strong. The sprinkler system can't put it out. By the time it puts one area out, if a sim isn't using a fire extinguisher, another area starts up. And now all of this, it took forever, but all of the sims have died from starvation. Half of them died from being burned alive and the other half of them died staring at the charred corpses of their friends while they struggle to figure out how to put all the fires out. Right here, this single grill was the culprit. This one grill wiped out half a house of Sims by itself. I wish I could remember who grilled that last item that killed everyone, but I think Friendly Hair was our last Sim to stay alive. I hate to say it, normally he would win the, uh, the magazine article, but he's not alive for me to give it to him. So I guess we're keeping it. All right, I'm not having starvation take all the fun from us though. That's not, that's not the correct way to make this happen. So at this point, I've got the house set up so that these moron sims can pretty much get everywhere. If there was a wall somewhere that I thought maybe they'd have trouble navigating past, I friggin' knocked it down. So hopefully at this point, they'll be able to at least attempt to fight the fires or do something besides just starving to death. I should have never expected too much from all of you. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. This area is like always the worst. It seems like somehow everything negative always begins right around this region. Of course, it doesn't help that there's, you know, a whole bunch of fireworks down here as well. I think we're at the point where all of the Sims are too distressed to actually attempt to do anything. Yeah, the fireworks are starting to go off like chain explode now. Devin Hipsterosaurus looks like the first man to go down. I also think that he was the one that probably started all this. Wow, everyone's burning super quick this time. Kaylee Hobath. It seems like she's the first or the second one to die like every single time. I like the pain. <laughs> Carrie, I like pain. I forgot I, I named her that. <laughs> Finally, someone with the balls to try and put this out. Brooks, for the love of God, hose the whole area down. Spray right to left. Vanessa Reeves gone. Jeffrey Friendly hair down. Brooks is a friggin' beast. She's the only one giving it her best while all of her friends run in circles and slowly perish. If you're gonna die, can you die not, like, not right next to all of the other fireworks, please? Ah, oh, crap. Brooks is on fire. On a side note, though, uh, we got a rebate received. Sorry, Brooks. For a moment, I thought you were a woman. I think it's because of the man bun. Brooks is down. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Hell yeah. You got it. You can do this. Come on, man. I like how this guy was looking for a way out and instead of, you know, trying to look around the perimeter of the house, he just went to the very middle of the fire. Trish is down. It took her the longest time to burn. I want to let you guys know, you're all awful at fighting fires. Grant, I'm glad you finally found the way out of the building. The way out of the building is straight to hell. You deserve this. Die right next to the piano that you love so much. Okay. At this point, our last two are Kirk and Kaylee. However, the fire seems to be fully encircling Kirk. <laughs> when the body of your friend gets set alight, Kirk, you might wanna, Never mind. Kirk is screwed. There's literally no way for him to go out. His tiny little pad of safety is just going to get smaller and smaller as time goes on. There we go. Now he's burning alive while sleeping. That's remarkable. They managed to put the fire out. There's three people left. I can't believe it. <laughs> Someone finally figured out how to use the friggin' bath. He feels so bad about how long it took that he's crying to himself while he's washing up. You may think that it's in response to all of his friends dying, but remember they're all they're all psychopaths now, so they don't they don't feel the pain of losing their brethren. <laughs> Great. This dude was making flame broiled hamburgers. He acquired the cooking skill and he also set himself on fire. This also gave me the opportunity to see that somehow there's two people stuck behind the stairs. These two just died from starvation, but I'll accept it because they were stupid enough to get stuck behind the stairs. That ended up causing us to have another casualty in Kirk. That leaves us at this point with Finn Norris, which makes total sense. Long lost relative of old Chuck. 
Finn's such a badass. He's like, I like to get my daily exercise by stepping over the bodies of my roommates. There's one thing that Finn likes to do. It's stare at rancid plates and consider how to kill- All right, never mind. Apparently someone else already screwed things up. Well, someone else. There's only one other person alive. Uh-oh. I think that I know who our final contestant's gonna be. Finn, are you gonna help her out? Are you gonna take it all for yourself? <laughs> He's just gonna watch. There is no way in hell she's surviving this. Oh, we just had another explosion right next to her. Yep. And there it is. That means that our boy Finn Norris is the last man alive. I mean, I, I can't use the build option while the fire is going, so I can't actually let you out of the house. So, I mean, technically you're eventually gonna burn alive anyway. Well, folks, I think that this teaches us that the pyromaniac trait is just outright bad. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4 Experiments. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.